this is what the playoffs are all about. Straight away, three, good! He is a machine! Dodgic with 40! Big game, just gotta play hard, you gotta play with hard. For the time, no good! This baby is over! Every year presents a different challenge, and this is what's important. You're gonna have to win on the road if you wanna become champions. So what is the message going back down to Dallas for game six? You gotta win in seven now. Kawhi Leonard versus Luka Doncic, Game 5, Advantage Luka, putting on a show at Staples 42-8-14. Tim Hardaway Jr. doing his thing, too. The Mavs take the 3-2 series lead. As for Kawhi, 25-5, not his best playoff performance, and now he faces elimination in Game 6. Let's check in and see where everyone's mindset is right now. Just for my own feelings, we're definitely, definitely uh, disappointed in the loss, but uh, we have confidence in ourselves. Uh, and, you know, to go out and get another win. So, um, like I said, um, you know, we're just focused on the next one and um, we're going to see what we can do better. We're confident. You know, we're confident we can extend the series and bring this back home. we got to go to Dallas and uh, it's going to be another hard uh, environment, another tough environment for us to go into. But um, it's what we got to do. Uh, it's the job that we got in front of us and uh, we got to tackle it. I'm not going to play way better, you know. Uh, I missed a lot of shots. Uh, some layups that I shouldn't make. Uh, but it wasn't just me, man. It was the whole team, the energy. Luka single-handedly outperformed the Clippers duo of Kawhi Leonard and Paul George last night. He scored almost the same amount of points as them, but shot better from the field, including better from deep. He was also creating more for his team, having more assists than Kawhi and PG combined. Max. Yeah. Is this series more about Luka or Kawhi? You know what? I want to, I, I'd like Stephen A to start because um, I want to focus on Luka, Stephen A, and I know you have things to say about Kawhi. Oh, absolutely. This is all about Kawhi Leonard. Uh, I don't want to hear anything about Luka. Now, don't get me wrong. I must bring up Luka when I'm talking about Kawhi because I was told, and I think I was told by Max Kellerman and various others about the superstar that Kawhi Leonard was, okay? See? And we understand that in this series, he's averaging 30, okay? Kawhi Leonard is averaging 30 on 57% shooting. So it's not like he's some scrub or something like that. This brother's a star. But I think think I was told he actually could play defense. Well, why is it then that when we talked about him and Paul George, two-way players, and I'm focusing more on Kawhi than Paul George because my problem with Paul George is that I just think he needs to be more assertive and aggressive and play like the star that he is. But he ain't the number one dude. That's supposed to be Kawhi Leonard. And I'm watching Luka Doncic average 35 Nine and eight. I'm going to say that again. 35, nine and eight. On 47% shooting and 43% shooting for three-point range. Last night in three quarters, he had 40. 40 in three quarters. Shot one of eight in the fourth quarter. 0 for three from three-point range. Scored just two points in the fourth quarter. But he had 40 in three quarters. Only two members of the Dallas Mavericks scored in double digits. Luka and Tim Hardaway's 20. Porzingis didn't even have more, nothing but eight points. And you still lose on your home court? Wasn't the crown dangling from the convertible Kawhi Leonard? Was it you that dude that was coming to claim LA? Better question. What would we be saying if this were LeBron James? You'd face the franchise. You're supposed to be the leader. You're supposed to be that dude that everything evolves around. If this were LeBron James, we would be killing him. See, this is moments like this is what LeBron James should use to crystallize as to why he can't stand the media or critics or pundits or whatever. Because this is where we are grotesquely unfair to him. If this were LeBron James, we'd be all over him. 20 points, 7-9 shooting, game 5 at the time of the series, 2-2. Two, two. Uh, going back to Dallas with a game six on your home court, you can't win. Three home games, three losses. Let me tell you something, Max Kellerman. I think Steve Ballmer got to get the hell out of the Staples Center as quick as he possibly can. No doubt. Get, get another arena. No get another doubt. arena. Move to another city if you have Look. to. Let me tell you something. They lose this, man. 
They lose this series, and I give props to Dallas because, see, I didn't pick Dallas to win another game because of that nerve damage in mm -hmm. Luka Don. I don't know how he did. I'm like, it's nerve damage in the neck. How the hell can you overcome that in two days? But he did. He did. And I'm looking at Steve Ballman. I'm like, you just keep losing at the Staples Center. Yeah, th just, this just is the point, Stephen home. A. I agree with the Staples home. Center point. I agree with it. First of all, when you get the Wednesday games and, and the Lakers get all the good dates, you should get out of there anyway. But Why? I agree with you. What's I agree wrong with Wednesday you. game? <laughs> no, I'm saying, like, the Clippers, the dates of Clippers games, at least when I was in L.A., were always, like, the second-rate games. And the yeah, prime Saturday time Saturday afternoon. Slot. Yeah, like right, that. Exactly, yeah. exactly. But Wednesday night is not a bad night. Yeah, Wednesday night is not bad. Night. You're right, you're right. Yeah. Um, you're right. Yeah, that, that's a very that's a very yeah. good point, Stephen. Yes. 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 Um, I can't debate what you're talking about with Kawhi because Clippers will never flip L.A., but Kawhi had a chance here. Kawhi had a chance here to come at the throne for LeBron in L.A. Kawhi's from L.A., right? He can get L.A. behind him, if not the Clippers. If the Lakers get bounced, there's a little crack. There's a little opening, right? He didn't do it. You're right. By the air ball, the last shot, I was shocked. I was shocked. But this was not about Kawhi, in fact. What this was about was Luka Doncic. Luka, who dropped 42-14-8 for his third playoff victory on the road in this series against supposedly a great defensive team. Luka Doncic said after the game, I, I could have been much better late. I made a lot of mistakes and gave the credit to Dorian Finney-Smith. who wound up about six or eight points, whatever it was, but his overall game. Luca and, and, and this is something people have to understand. Right now, Stephen A., put all the NBA players on a scale. What's their value? Which means not just who would you build a franchise around, because maybe it's Zion, that's years away still, or some young player. It's not just who's the very best player in the world right now. Do we know that Luca is better than, say, James Harden right now? But he's 10 years younger. Also. I'm saying add everything up and say if you had to Put everyone in a trip. Who would get the most in a trade? Who's the most valuable commodity in the NBA? The answer is Luka Doncic, and it's not close. He is 22 years old and can walk into playoff series against defenders like Kawhi and Paul George, and they don't seem to want it with him. As you said, Porzingis, supposed to be a second banana. He don't have it. Every year he's hurt. And he has to get back to where he is. And when he's at his best, he's very good. That's not right now. Tim well, Hardaway Jr. has been excellent. They have guys like Kleba and Finney Smith who can play. Mm -hmm. But this is Luka Doncic completely mm -hmm. controlling the game and being the best player on the floor. This is about Luka. Nope. 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 Because Luka takes Kawhi off the hook. And I'm not going to let that happen. Here's the deal. Luca's big boy and dudes. Luca, you know Patrick Beverly. You ain't even on the on the, on, in the on, you know you're not even in the rotation anymore because Luca's out there and he big boys you. You just too small for him. Rondo, same thing. Uh, with wise in terms of Paul George, maybe a little bit. Too Rondo was good last night. I was but, surprised. Tell me, tell me, tell me, that that's not Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard. You see those muscles that he's got. You know he's a legit six seven, right? Just like Luca, right? And I, last time I checked. Kawhi ain't supposed to be. This is the dude that got MVP because he was guarding LeBron James. Now, LeBron James averaged 28 points in that finals in 2014, but was held to 37% shooting by Kawhi Leonard. And Kawhi Leonard got MVP because of that. Well, now here we are, Luka. And what does Ty Lu say in the post-game conference? We asked Kawhi to do a lot, you know, and, and he was tired. What? Didn't y'all rest coming into the postseason? Didn't you lose on purpose so you could avoid the for Lakers you. and get the Dallas for you. Mavericks? Wasn't that you? That was the Lakers. That was the Clippers. Who is going to stop Luka in the NBA, Stephen Kawhi. A? Kawhi. He's supposed He's to stop to? him? No, no, no. No, no. 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 Forget I, Kawhi I, I, for a second. Who? No, no, no. No, no, no. No, Max. You don't Nobody get to say can that. stop Luka. No, 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 no. You don't get to say me. that. Kawhi is supposed to think. I'm not saying to completely stop him. 40 and three quarters? 40. He, play. he wasn't hold defending him most possessions. Max, 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 stop. Game seven last year, Max. What did Jamal Murray do? You're right. 40. That's on the Kawhi team. What's up? What's so, up? Because, but that, What's but up? Part of that is the defensive scheme. Ain't that what he's supposed coach, to be doing? Stephen A. Part of that is the defensive scheme and the coach. Like, Ma that's, Max, not, that's not just oh Kawhi. Oh, my God. All right. Oh, my God. Gentlemen, Ma we got to leave it there. I know that literally, but theoretically, come on, Max. You got to find you the star. 
You can walk. Right. Well, look, look, I don't disagree that, guys. with that. The offensive player always has the advantage. I'm telling you right now, there's really? no one in the NBA going to stop Luka. No okay, one's stopping Luka. Okay, I got it. I got it. Molly, by the way, no more debates. I apologize, Ma- Molly. No more debates. Because according to Max, oh, the offense player already. So we don't even have to why, We There's no reason to debate no more. We don't need to even talk basketball anymore. Because according to Max, you're if you're an offensive juggernaut, equal no one offense can stop player. you. So far be it for us to hold Kawhi accountable. You letting right. him off the hook. You can hold you Kawhi accountable all you want. Who's the juggernaut of all juggernauts in college basketball? And I want to hear from him. And that's what's going to happen here on ESPN. One of the greatest coaches.